On this day in 1846, the planet Neptune was discovered. Scientist Alexis Boulevard was trying to calculate the orbit that Uranus would take around the Sun and see if it would match up his expectations. But he noticed that the planet was going a little off course a little bit. This would suggest that there would be an object with enough gravity to pull on Uranus ever so slightly. Thus, the discovery of Neptune was made by mathematical calculations rather than observation. However, before all of this, Galileo took a look at his telescope in the region that we now know as Neptune, but understandably, back then, he mistook it for a star. Upon hearing about this discovery, scientists John Couch Adams and Urbane Le Verrier has tried to take a look at some calculations to figure out where Neptune could be. But unfortunately, they couldn't really get an answer or a statement about where Neptune could possibly be in the solar system. It seemed like all hope was lost until finally a third astronomer came into play. German astronomer Johann Gottfried Galilei, which I hope I'm saying it right, was able to sight the eighth planet of the solar system on the 23rd of September, 1846. It's kind of sad, though, how Voyager 2 was the only spacecraft that ever flew by Uranus and Neptune since. Because of that, we barely know anything about these worlds, aside from the fact that they're the coldest of the solar system the w and the windiest, and even have quite icy moons that could hold the secrets for life. But even then, may time will tell and see if we will plan on sending more things to Uranus and Neptune. Because honestly, we really should.